does the anxiety brain map look like? I'm Dr. Trish Lee. I'm going to show you right now. Okay, we're going to look at the anxiety brain map in two formats. On the left hand side is the traditional QEEG brain map that you would have performed in my office at Lee Brain and Spine. On the right is the most advanced type of brain mapping that is performed in your own home. You do it yourself. You see the results pop up on your app on your phone or your tablet immediately. And hopefully we already have a meeting scheduled so that as soon after you and I get together on Zoom and I explain it all to you. Now, if you wanna know more about this brain performance spider web, please check out my playlist on home brain mapping. Every parameter that you'll find in your home brain map is explained there. And I've chunked it down so you can watch it in smaller videos. Go check it out, totally awesome, if you are interested in home brain mapping. Okay, so let me show you what we got in the anxiety brain map. And this brain map is not even a brain map of anxiety that's off the charts. That would be even easier to see. But what we're seeing here is, remember that this bar is standard deviations. If you've watched my video on what the optimal brain map looks like, it's standard deviations or basically the bell curve. It's levels away from optimal performance. So when we see yellow to orange to red, it means those areas are using too much of the speed that we see in the map. And here we see that beta, fast processing speed, is being used too much. So what this produ produces is higher levels of stress and anxiety. And we could even see it red, and many times we see high beta, the whole thing is red and it's off the charts with anxiety, and that's someone who has an anxiety disorder. But even here where we see anxiety being used two levels too high, that's a person whose brain will not shut itself off. It will feel chronically anxious. So the key to success is bringing this beta down so that now your brain feels calm and focused. Over here on the brain performance spider web that you would receive after doing your home brain map that only takes 28 minutes, you would see that if you are struggling with anxiety, and it's explained a lot in your app, there's many more charts explaining it, but this is what the overall performance profile looks like, is that your beta performance would be struggling because you're using too much beta. Your brain is not calm and focused, it's hypervigilant, it's on overdrive, there's too much fast speed being used, and it would show up looking like this on your brain performance spider web. Now, once you see your brain map and you're like, yikes, my beta is too high, my beta is too high, what do I do about it? Home neurofeedback or neurofeedback in the office, we've been open the whole time during COVID-19. What neurofeedback does is it trains your brain to make less beta to make the perfect amount of it so that you feel sharp and focused, but not anxious or stressed or like you have to keep go, go, going. When your brain uses the perfect amount of beta, you're in the zone. That's what the zone is. And your productivity actually increases. When you're using too much beta, you might feel all over the place and scattered brained or like your brain is bouncing off the walls. This performance pattern creates insomnia and sleep disturbances because your brain can't slow down enough to get restorative sleep at night because it's still in go, go, go mode because there's too much of it. So once you know that your brain is doing this and you see it with your own eyes, then you can use neurofeedback training to train down the amount of beta that you're using. So now you can be calm and focused and increase your productivity and sleep better. Okay, if you have any questions about the anxiety brain map or brain pattern, please email me, info at drtrishlee.com. And as always, remember, control your brain or it'll control you.